For the first time ever, Tesla has officially unveiled the long-anticipated Model 2, revealing real-world images and concrete details that move it beyond speculation and into reality. The excitement around this announcement isn't just about aesthetics or marketing hype, it's about affordability, accessibility, and a strategic pivot that could reshape the electric vehicle market. Priced at just $15,990 for the base rear-wheel drive version, the Model 2 is positioned as Tesla's most affordable EV to date. And while many have questioned whether such a low price point would translate into stripped-down quality, early previews suggest that Tesla has managed to deliver impressive value, without entirely compromising on the core experience that defines the brand. According to Tesla's official production timeline, the Model 2 began limited manufacturing in June, with a broader launch set for November of this year. Pre-orders are expected to begin during the third quarter, aligning perfectly with the expiration of a critical EV tax credit now scheduled to end on September 30th. While this launch is slightly later than the company's original projection of early 2025, it's strategically timed. Elon Musk and his executive team hinted at this shift during the most recent earnings call, citing financial optimization rather than delays. When asked directly about the affordable EV, Musk simply stated, it's the Model Y. While Lars Moravi confirmed that the upcoming vehicle would mirror Tesla's existing models in both form and function, implying that what we're really getting is a cleverly reworked and downgraded version of an existing platform rather than an entirely new car. This move, while conservative, is undeniably strategic. By holding back deliveries until the tax credit expires, Tesla maximizes the profitability of its current fleet while preparing to flood the market with a more affordable option, right as government incentives vanish thus softening the financial impact for budget-conscious buyers and Tesla alike. Tesla is known for playing the long game, and this rollout reflects that. The company has long been tight-lipped about its lower-priced models, even going so far as to allow rumors of the Model 2's cancellation to circulate perhaps intentionally to preserve demand for existing higher-margin vehicles. Now, with the Model 2's real-world debut, we can see that Tesla wasn't scaling back. They were simply buying time. Meanwhile, Tesla has launched a current offers page to consolidate its promotions, including a $7,500 lease incentive for customers who take delivery by September 30th, and a $1,000 discount for American heroes, a group likely encompassing military personnel, first responders, and other public servants. There's also a one-month trial of full self-driving FSD, along with FSD transferability for those upgrading from older models. Premium connectivity features such as in-car streaming and real-time traffic are included free for a limited period offering new buyers a comprehensive taste of Tesla's digital ecosystem. All of these promotions serve one purpose, to keep customers engaged during the transitional period, before the new model launches. In a previous breakdown, we analyzed leaked images of a prototype Tesla Model 2 spotted in China, identifying 21 notable differences from the current Model Y. These visual and structural modifications were key to understanding how Tesla achieved such an aggressive price reduction. But more than that, these changes signaled a larger shift in philosophy, one focused on accessibility without discarding Tesla's DNA. Even now, the $10,000 BYD Siegel, often touted as a model to competitor, fails to pose a serious threat because it can't match the blend of Tesla's brand equity, software integration, and manufacturing prowess. Looking at the Model 2 up close, what initially disappointed some fans its resemblance to a smaller model, Y has proven to be a thoughtful design choice. Real-world appearances show cleaner lines in a roomier cabin, redefining expectations for what a budget Tesla can offer. And while we don't yet have the official range and price tiers beyond the base model, industry insiders predict this car will redefine Tesla's market position, not just as a luxury EV maker, but as the brand that brings electric mobility to the masses. Elon Musk himself has stated the core issue isn't demand, but affordability. People want Teslas, they just can't afford them. The Model 2 aims to resolve this by providing a lower cost option built on an optimized version of an existing platform. Tesla started production in June, most likely at the Fremont factory. Fremont makes logistical sense. It's Tesla's most mature manufacturing hub, and recent sightings of camouflaged prototypes in the area further confirm this assumption. The June production wasn't full-scale, but rather a small batch of prototypes meant to refine the process. Mass production will begin after the car's official unveiling later this year, meaning we're finally transitioning from rumor to reality. Tesla has always kept upcoming models under tight wraps literally with camouflaged bodies covered interiors, and little to no public acknowledgement until launch day. The Model 2 is no exception. While sightings have been plentiful, Tesla remains silent about the specifics, and most of what we know comes from photo analysis, insider leaks, and speculative comparisons. A closer look at the car's design reveals a clear cost-saving agenda. Gone is the sleek horizontal light bar of the new Model Y, replaced with a colored trim piece. The front camera remains, meaning FSD compatibility is retained, but luxury lighting elements have been removed. 
the glass roof once a Tesla stick, been replaced with a painted metal roof, marking the first time Tesla has done this even on its budget trims. The rear has also been simplified, ditching the signature reflective strip in favor of standard brake lights and a basic liftgate design. The wheelbase appears unchanged, suggesting that interior legroom and cargo space will stay largely the same. Inside the cabin, the cuts are even more apparent. Rear displays are gone, speaker count is down, no pillar speakers. Seat materials have shifted from vegan leather to fabric. There are no coat hooks or rear parcel shelves. The redesigned center. Console moves the phone charger below the touchscreen and removes the connecting bridge, mimicking the Cybertruck's minimalist aesthetic. Even the center gap between the front seats is now open, underscoring Tesla's focus on streamlined design, size-wise. The Model 2 aligns closely with the refreshed Juniper Model 3. Despite the camouflage in from certain angles, it appears longer than previous models. From others, identical, some speculate that what we're seeing now is the final production version, minus a few missing trim pieces and finishing details. Every design decision serves one goal, reduce complexity and cut costs. These aren't aesthetic decisions there, strategic moves to make Tesla more affordable without building a car from scratch. With this vehicle, Tesla isn't reinventing the wheel it's optimizing it for scale. The November Tesla shareholder meeting is expected to be the stage four, the official unveiling. And while some longtime fans are disappointed by the lack of innovation, others are thrilled by the opportunity. For customers priced out of the Model Y, the Model 2 represents not compromise, but access. It delivers the Tesla experience at a price point that finally feels attainable in terms of competition. The Model 2 is Tesla's answer to a flood of Chinese EVs especially from BYD. But unlike many budget vehicles that sacrifice tech for price, the Model 2 retains Tesla's robust software suite, OTA updates, and FSD capability. Even if it's not as luxurious as previous models, its value proposition is unmatched. The demand speaks for itself. Despite scaled-back features, interest is sky-high. What we're witnessing isn't just a new car launch, it's Tesla's recalibration toward the future. The Model 2 is Tesla's strategic response to shifting economic realities, using the well-established Model Y platform to sidestep massive R&D costs and bring a compelling product to market quickly. This echoes what we saw with the budget Model 3 in Mexico, but here, the reduction in features is even more deliberate. Tesla's goal isn't to blow minds with a radically new car. It's to dominate the affordable EV space as fast as possible. The global auto industry has evolved since the Model Y and Model 3 first launched. Tesla's lineup now feels dated, with only one new model recently released and that too, limited to the US market. If Tesla hopes to remain competitive in 2025 and beyond, it must reduce the price of current models while introducing affordable trims that preserve the brand's core appeal. The Model 3 and Y were revolutionary in their time, but times have changed. Tesla can't afford to stand still while competitors innovate rapidly. Musk has often talked about the need for acceleration in renewable energy, in AI, in transport. The Model 2 is a long overdue application of that philosophy to his own company. And let's not forget, the 30% federal solar tax credit is also expiring this year. For families thinking long term, the Model 2 could represent a smart investment that pairs well with a home solar setup creating both transportation and energy. Savings. Transportation is a basic human need, and with the Model 2, Tesla is offering a practical, affordable solution that doesn't feel like a compromise. It solves a universal problem with a product that's accessible to more people than ever before. Ultimately, this isn't just a Karitz, Tesla's most strategic offering yet. Some may criticize it for lacking innovation, but others see it as a masterstroke in optimization. So, what do you think? Should Tesla chase groundbreaking innovation or double down on efficiency and affordability? Either way, one thing is clear. The Model 2 is coming, and it might just change everything.